And then my parents, who have been incredibly supportive, just, <laughs> I tell you, every week cry. Um, incredibly supportive just all of the time. And I can't thank them enough for everything. <laughs> Um, it was a little bit intimidating. I'm very close with my family. A lot of my family lives in the same area. So leaving them behind and going three hours away was a little bit scary for me. I cried when my parents dropped me off. Um, but after a while, I got the hang of it. The homesickness started to go away and everything just kind of fell into place. Um, everybody at Hampton that I've met has been extremely nice. Um, I love my professors. They're always there to help me. They're always there to push me, and I appreciate that about them. Um, I have great friends. They always push me out of my comfort zone um, because I'm a homebody, and so they like to, you know, Sarah come out with us, Sarah come do this with us, and I think that was the hardest thing to do um, coming into college because I'm such an introvert and a homebody just talking to new people and making new friends. Um, but the friends that I have are great and they're really supportive and we just always lift each other up and I'm really grateful to have them. I'm grateful for everybody who supported me throughout the years. Um, my elementary school, I go back and visit my teachers there all the time. I go back and volunteer there all the time because they made such an indelible mark on me. Um, just my black teachers that I've had throughout middle school and high school who told me, you know, we believe in you, you have the, excuse me, you have this. And then my parents who have been incredibly supportive, just, <laughs> I tell you, every week cry. Um, incredibly supportive just all of the time. and. I can't thank them enough for everything, <laughs> everything that they've done for me. And from a young age, my mom taught me how to read because I knew how to read by the time I was three because my mother said when she was growing up, she's she grew up in the 70s, 80s, and so segregation, integration, well, she grew up during the period of integration, and so she went to these majority white schools and she said so she was always jealous that the white kids were always ahead of her and could always read better than her and always do everything better than her and so my parents um especially my mom just really pushed us to be better and my brother and I to be better and to do better um all the time and you know then we have my grandparents who went from go van south carolina to being able to pay off a two hundred thousand dollar house with one check it's inspirational and to make them proud constantly for you know my grandma who doesn't even have a college degree um and to see her granddaughter be able to go to college on basically a full scholarship um and so i work to make them proud every day whatever you think that you can't do, you're a lot stronger than you realize. Um, and there's so much more waiting for you on the other side than what you can see right now. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean that it's not out there. Um, and so just keep persevering, even in the hard days, even in the days when you wanna give up, even in the days so you just don't care anymore. Um, just know that there's always you know, something better. And, you know, to achieve your dreams. We always see the success, excuse me, the success of people, but we don't see, you know, all of the hard work that they put into that. And if you want to be that successful, you have to be able to keep going and keep motivating yourself and just keep grinding like day after day after day. Um, and so I would just tell them, don't give up. There's always something better for you that you haven't seen.